You must have heard of AI. AI has super high computing power and judgment. But did you know that these capabilities are all done by chips? The AI chip is called an artificial intelligence accelerator and is considered a key bargaining chip for expanding the boundaries of AI in the future. AI belongs to high technology. Once its technology matures, it will have a huge impact on all aspects of our lives. Therefore, many technology companies have participated in the R&D of AI chips, especially some technology giants, such as Tesla, Intel, Baidu, and so on. Tesla has launched a self-developed AI chip that claims to have the highest computing power in the world. China's Baidu announced that the second-generation Baidu Kunlun AI chip independently developed by itself has been mass-produced. It can be seen that the competition in the field of AI chips is very fierce, but this field has developed by leaps and bounds in China, so why does China's AI chips have such a form of prosperity? Which companies are participating in the AI chip competition? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As we all know, Chinese chips generally lag behind high-tech countries such as the United States and the West. Chinese companies are not too far from the starting point of international companies in the field of AI chips, and even have advantages in some aspects. In the past three years, there have been two super financings in the field of AI chips in China. In the 18 months since its establishment, Biren Tech has raised over 4.7 billion yuan, setting the largest financing record for a Chinese chip startup. More Threads was established less than a year ago, with a valuation of over 10 billion yuan and billions of yuan in financing. In the first four months of 2021 alone, the investment and financing scale of China's AI chip industry reached 8.965 billion yuan, involving more than 20 investment and financing events. AI chips are also known as AI accelerators or computing cards, which are modules dedicated to processing a large number of computing tasks in AI applications. The current AI chips are mainly divided into GPU, FPGA, and ASIC. The layout of AI chips in the United States and other countries has begun in the early 21st century. With the introduction of AI from theory to application, AI chips have become the best or even the only solution to break through the current application scenarios and data boundaries. Musk once talked about why AI chips are needed on Twitter. He said that to solve the problem of autonomous driving, we must solve real-world AI problems. It is necessary to have strong AI capabilities and supercomputing power. Once a company have an AI chip capable of solving the above problems, other capabilities are just icing on the cake. As Musk said, AI chips are more used in some specific scenarios, such as autonomous driving, chip design, etc. One of the main reasons why China's AI chips can flourish is because there are certain and huge application scenarios in China which means that AI chips have a huge market in China. The development of AI chips in China is currently in the early stage, and the development prospects are huge. Unlike the US on the other side of the ocean, the AI industry there has experienced three waves of development, and the latest one started in the early 21st century, earlier than China. After a period of rapid development, it began to enter a stable period and focused on applications in practical industries, such as autonomous driving, voice and image processing, and service robots. Although the third wave of AI has benefited from the rapid development of chip technology, the capital in the US has little interest in startups of AI chip. This is because they know that if they want to run complex AI algorithms on chips, they need to use the most advanced and complex chip technology, which requires huge investment. On the other hand, semiconductors are already a sunset industry in the United States. 
On the contrary, in China, the AI chip concept started to become popular in China at the time when AI algorithm companies entered a period of brutal elimination. Some professional semiconductor industry investors saw this trend earlier, in 2017, they have already begun to invest in some AI chip companies. In 2018, some non-semiconductor professional investment funds began to enter the field of AI chips. The prospect of AI chips is very good, so which companies are participating in the competition? In addition to AI chip startups, more and more competitors are pouring into the AI chip market. In recent years, Intel, Google, Amazon, Alibaba, Baidu, etc. have all entered the AI chip industry through self-build or investment. Google began to develop its own AI chips in 2015. Subsequently, it launched its own custom chip TPU, and plans to carry self-developed chips and CPUs on all Chromebook laptops from 2023. In 2020, Amazon launched AWS Trainium, a customized new product for self-developed cloud AI training. Intel acquired Habana Labs, an Israeli AI chip company, for $2 billion in 2019. Moreover, a new trend is taking place, that is, system companies have entered the chip industry, including Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, Kuaishou, Tesla, Apple, etc. Behind the entry of system companies into self-developed chips one after another is the promotion of massive data and more and more application scenarios brought by the era of intelligent Internet of Things. In short, people need better AI chips. On the one hand, there are performance and cost requirements. Industry experts have found that every time the number of GPUs doubles, the cost, environmental footprint, carbon and pollution also double. When data giants encounter the construction of ultra-large-scale data centers, it is extremely difficult to form unique advantages in performance, power consumption and cost by relying on general-purpose off-the-shelf chips. On the other hand, the trade friction between China and the US still exists, so companies need to consider the long term. For example, for Chinese companies, they need to consider, if they cannot buy products from American companies in the future, is there another option? When giants with strong technology and economic strength enter AI chips, it means that competition pressure will gradually increase for these startups. And them, they will be swallowed up or be eliminated. Because AI chips have high technical requirements, in addition to data, talent and innovation are crucial to chip projects. In addition, chip is a project with high initial investment and long payback period. These tech giants have strong technical strength and economic foundation to withstand appropriate risk, while startups do not have such conditions. But that doesn't mean these startups are bound to fail. There is a Chinese word called, avoid its edge. What does that mean? That is, when you encounter an invincible enemy, you can choose to retreat temporarily to avoid a frontal conflict. These startups can also choose this way. They can develop and produce more mature AI chips to avoid competing with these giants in new technologies. In addition, when seized market opportunities, they must not give up. It is certain that as these technology giants enter the field of AI chips, some startups will inevitably be eliminated or annexed. The AI chip market will enter a moment of reshuffle. How long will this carnival of AI chips in China last? Many industry insiders judge that China's AI chip field has entered a cooling-off period. The AI chip itself has multiple product lines and tracks, and two or three companies will eventually survive in each product line. This is the future pattern. Okay, we just spent another 10 minutes of deep thinking. Do you want to know what changes have taken place in the world in these 10 minutes? 
please keep following our channel and like our videos.